Hello YouTube.com. This is GV Airsoft Reviews with the review of the HK USB. First off, I'd like to say that it is a fairly a fairly decent gun for the price of only $45. You can get this gun at any of your retail airsoft retailers or pretty sure you can even get it at Walmart. First off, I'd like to say that this gun is pretty reliable, shoots hard around 350, 360 FPS. Pretty good for CQB. I would do an accuracy test for you guys, but I can't really do that right now because it's like 10 o'clock at my house, so. And it's completely ABS plastic, non-blowback, CO2 as I said. Um, there's trademarks here, 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 and here. And it has nice painted on white sights. I don't know if you guys can see that too well, but oh well. And then the safety is right here. Right now it is on the red F, which means fire. And then when you push it up, it has a white S, that means safe. So safe, it doesn't fire. Not fire. And as you can see, it's double action, which does make the trigger pull pretty stiff. But even though you see that hand moving, all it is is for aesthetics. As you can tell, there's nothing there. It's just plastic, some cheap kind of plastic, which doesn't really do anything. But there is a metal hammer on the inside that has a little notch that puts it back. Um, the magazine is a 16-round magazine. It holds the CO2, and to put the CO2 in it, it comes with a little Allen key. You just unscrew that, and that's about it about the magazine. It is plastic just like the whole rest of the gun. It says 6 millimeter caliber right there. Pretty cool. It's nice and it just like falls straight out. It's not like it doesn't get all stuck and everything. It does have an ambidextrous mag release right there. And to take the barrel off the mag the slide off my, my bad. It's a fixed slide so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it back, lift it up and push forward and it comes right off. And then right here you can see the magazine and then you can see the, the hammer I was talking about right there. See, it goes back and it pushes it. And then the barrel moves back to feed and everything, just like most guns. But like I said, this double action does make the trigger pretty stiff. And it is a fixed slide. And if you don't put it on, like, if you don't put it on all the way, the trigger will get stuck about like right here and you can't pull it back any further. And I'd say it's a very good gun for $45. It's pretty reliable. I've run about five or six CO2 through it and it hasn't had I haven't had any problems with the jamming or anything. It has really nice grips on the front and back. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Sorry, and then it has nice textures on both sides. It's all roughed up and everything to have better grip. And then it has this right up here so your finger like doesn't slip off of it or something if you're trying to be all retarded. And like squeeze it real tight and slips off and fire like your finger or something. And so that's about it on this gun. Thank you for watching BV Airsoft Reviews and probably around next week I'll have another review of the HFC. I'm not sure what model it is, I forget, I ordered it on a limb and I guess I'll see how it is when it gets here. And I'll have a review and a firing test around next Monday, not this Monday, I'm not sure. But thank you for watching VV Airsoft Reviews, please comment.